To be part of the supply of a good, producers have to be both willing and able to produce the good. When creating supply, we are assuming that the only factor that causes firms to produce more or less is the price of the good. It is assumed that all other factors that influence the amount that firms will produce are constant. Individual supply measures the supply of one business, while market supply is created by summing multiple individual business supply curves. Producers are willing to produce and sell more of their product at a higher price than at a lower price. There is a direct or positive relationship between price and quantity supplied. Given product costs, a higher price means greater profits and thus an incentive to increase the quantity supplied. Beyond some level of output, producers usually encounter increasing costs per added unit of output and therefore we require higher prices in order to produce more. To create a supply curve, we follow the same rules for graphing that we did with the demand curve. Because price and quantity supplied are directly related, the supply curve graphs as an upsloping curve. Other things equal, producers will offer more of a product for sale as its prices rise and less of the product for sale as its prices fall. A change in one or more of the determinants of supply causes a change in supply. An increase in supply is shown as a rightward shift to the supply curve from S1 to S2. A decrease in supply is depicted as a leftward shift to the curve as from S1 to S3. These changes in supply are to be distinguished from a change in quantity supplied, which is caused by a change in the price of the product and is shown by a movement from one point to another point on a fixed supply curve. A change in one or more of these determinants will change supply and shift the curve. If the price of resources or inputs for a good go up, supply decreases. If resource prices go down, this improves the firm's profit margin, so supply increases. If technology improves, the increased efficiency cuts costs and supply increases. If we adopt or use less efficient technology, supply decreases. If taxes are increased on a specific product, supply decreases. If taxes are decreased or eliminated on a specific product, supply increases. Subsidies are payments made by the government to firms to influence production. If subsidies are increased on a specific product, supply increases. If subsidies are decreased on a specific product, supply decreases. If the price of another good that the producer could produce with the same resources increases, the supply decreases for the product the producers are currently producing. If the price of another good that the producer could produce with the same resources falls, the supply increases for the product the producers are currently making. If producers expect that the price of the product they are making will be higher in the future, they store those goods and supply will decrease. If producers expect the price of the product they are making will be lower in the future, they increase current supply to take advantage of the currently high prices. If the number of sellers increases, supply increases. Economic profits in the market draw producers from less profitable markets into this market. If the number of sellers decreases, supply decreases. Economic losses in the market cause producers to leave the market.